Hi, welcome to In and Around Computer. In this video, we are going to see the types of server operating systems. First, we can see what is a server operating system. This is specifically designed to run on servers which are nothing but the specialized computers that operate within a client server architecture to serve the requests of client computers on their network. We have a number of videos on what is a server and you can check my videos on that and the server operating system help enable and facilitate typical server roles such as web server, mail server, file server and database server, application server and print server. So this operating system facilitate, facilitates these roles of the uh, server. And, uh, now we can, in this video, we are going to see the types of server operating systems. First type is the Windows Server. This Microsoft developed the Windows operating system family for everyday personal use and also professional use in servers. This uh, Windows Server OS supports enterprise level management, data storage and a vast array of applications. And this server, uh, Windows Server features um, if virtual memory management, a complete desktop guy experience, allows multitasking and supports various peripheral devices. The cons of this uh, Windows Server operating system or the need for user-based licensing and more virus security threats compared to other platforms. So this is the, about the Windows Server operating system. Next type of server OS is the Linux and this is a family of Unix like operating systems that have all the features of Unix and this is a open source available for free facilitating multi-user, multi-process and multi-threaded uh, operations and some of the most popular uh, Linux server distributions are Ubuntu server, Debian server, Fedora and uh, Fedora and uh, Arc Linux, etc. And uh, these advantages of this Linux server OS are a high security, wide variety of distributions, integrated open source software, including high level language compilers, and the ability to control the system using a graphical user interface. And the disadvantages are the lack of a long term support for such dis some distributions and certain complex operations such as uh, system updates. And next type of uh, server OS is the Red Hat Enterprise uh, Linux. And this is a paid uh, Linux desktop and server distribution created by Red Hat. And initially this RHEL that is Red Hat Enterprise Linux was uh, released as the Red Hat Linux Advanced Server and it was uh, later renamed as Red Hat Enterprise uh, Linux. AS that is advanced server which include uh, two distributions one is the Red Hat Enterprise Linux that is AES and uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux WS that is for workstations and uh, the pros of this RHEL or the, that is RHEL is the Red Hat Enterprise Linux or the extensive support and available patches, upgrades and solutions for security vulnerabilities and the cons of this RHEL are the expensive training courses and the lack of personalized solutions. And the next type of server OS is the Unix um, operating system and this was a timeshare in the beginning this unix was a time sharing operating system for small computers and over time it has become one of the uh, most widespread uh, client server environment operating system and the pros of this uh, unix are a multi-user environment built-in tcp ip support and high level of stability and security this downside is that is paid and uh, different vendors sell different Unix version and there is no standard Unix version. So this is about the Unix operating system and next uh, type of server OS is the NetWare and this is a server based network operating system that includes a dedicated server to function and this uh, NetWare has a uh, which are 
the support for multi process and large capacity physical memory management as well as uh, the top notch file sharing and printing function in corporate networks and uh, this also offers a wide range of uh, management interfaces including uh, web interface and the uh, cons or uh, price Poor support, uh, challenging uh, installation process, and the uh, low that third-party app support. And uh, next uh, type of server OS is the Mac OS server, and this is a Unix-like server operating system based on Mac OS developed by Apple. And this uh, OS builds on top of the Mac OS and adds server functionality and the uh, system administration tools as well as tools to manage Mac OS and iOS devices. And these uh, pros are the easy administration in, uh, that, that is a uh, good uh, graphical user interface and great support and easy, easy workload distribution across multiple machines. And this is easy to increase the processing power and the uh, disadvantages are the, that the Mac OS server only runs on Apple hardware which can be pricey and also while Apple implements open source software in its system there are changes uh, specific to Mac OS requiring working around some issues not uh, present which are not present in Linux. Next type of uh, server OS is the free VST and this is an open source Unix like operating system. This maintains a complete system delivering the kernel uh, drivers utilities and documentation and includes an extensive uh, server related software collection and this is uh, easily configured as a mail server, web server, firewall etc. And this uh, advantages of this free BST are the uh, that is is fast and good uh, security that it utilizes firewall and had a lot of tools available owned by the uh, free VST team and this uh, disadvantages are that it is not very easy to learn since it has a poor community support than Linux and lacks driver support also. Subscribe to my channel if you feel contented, like and share my videos with your friends.